Well, several Wisconsin lawmakers are calling for peace, unity, and a stop to what's being called Islamophobia here in America. Eric Ross has more on an effort to condemn hate speech that's gaining support among the local Muslim community. 19 lawmakers have expressed interest in signing this joint resolution that was presented at City Hall this morning. It's the latest move following President Trump's immigration ban. The Muslim community continues protesting President Trump's executive orders banning immigrants from coming into the United States from seven countries. There's always groups that want to marginalize and create an enemy. And today, we as Muslims are that target. Taif Janey came to Milwaukee from Baghdad. I arrived in this country in 2008 as a student and uh, I stand before you today as a proud permanent resident of this country. For the first time in a decade, Janey got to return to Iraq to see his family for Christmas, but now wonders whether he'll get to see them again following the travel ban. My lawyers told me before I left, they said, Taif, make sure you come back to this country before inauguration day. The Muslim ban is unjust and it's un-American. While Muslim Americans fight for President Trump to rescind his immigration ban, they are also fighting to curb negative stereotypes and hate. From August 6, 2015, the date of the first debate of the pres for the presidential election to the end of 2016, there has been a reported 596 Islamophobic acts across our country. That's more than one per day. This joint resolution is currently getting co-sponsors. There's also a petition online to show support for the resolution, and already we're told hundreds have signed up. Outside City Hall, Eric Ross, today's TMJ4.